You want to go over to the bass? No? Got about a yay big hook. Go through the tower. Where's my line go? Oh my god, he's got him. Okay, that bass just ate him right when I hit the water. Yes! Osborne, we have a serious problem. Uh-oh is right. Can I get an uh-oh? You tell him. Tell him what happened. Daddy's no good. He's washed up. There's a new master in town. Guys, I got some bad news before we hop in the video today. A lot of you have probably experienced this if you have kids, and you probably experienced it if your old man taught you how to fish. There's that moment when you just, it happens. You get passed up by your kid, and that's exactly what happened. I was over there fishing in the last video, a couple videos ago, with some stink baits, some crawlers, could hardly catch anything. We're out fishing the other night on the pond. Osborne here with his little foot and a half long rod just slaying the bluegill. He's catching way more than I am already. But you guys know how that goes and uh, it's always a good thing, right? Anyways, we're gonna kind of build off that today. We are going to go over to the muddy pond and we're gonna catch some of those bluegills. And then we're gonna bring them over here to the beautiful pond that has the giant bass. And we're gonna see if we can catch some of those giant bass using live bluegill on a large hook. Osborne, I'm gonna have to enlist your help if we're gonna catch anything. You gonna come over and help a little bit? Yeah, as long as it's not snack time, we're going to do some helping. And Oh, you're going to use that pole too? It's a long pole. Hey, we got to go catch some bluegill first, bro. Deal? Can I get a deal? Deal. Bye. You bet. Bye. Bye. Okay, here's the rig we're starting with. We got the coal pole, four foot, six inches of ultra light greatness. Watch how stiff this thing is. Boing, not stiff at all. Beauty, that's what we're looking for. Going with the little tiny hair fly. I don't know if they're going to eat that. This is what Osborne's been crushing them on lately, is the old-fashioned beetle spin. I probably should just throw that, but we're going to start with the hair jig, see if that works. Got a simple little float rig about a foot, foot and a half above it. I'm going to fire it on the coal pole. Oh, yeah. The only way to cast the old one. Oh, Jesus. Something just tried to eat the bobber. One thirty second. I already had one. I just had one. He just absolutely crushed it. When I was fishing with stink bait here the other day, I, I think that that was definitely not the right way to go about it because Ozzy actually caught a really solid sized catfish on the beetle spin under a bobber last night. I don't know. I can't make this stuff up, guys. Oh, jeez. Great. On the board. What do we got? You guys probably didn't even see that. That's a good size, too. He might be a little too big, even. That's one thing I did notice was all these guys are freaking way bigger than I thought I stocked them. Look how pretty that fish is. Looks like some bass candy. You want to go over to the bash? No? Okay, perfect. Let's do it. We're going to get a couple of these guys in here. Get some water in our little bucket going. By water, I mean water and slime and all these freaking seed things. God dang it. You can't get clean water in here anywhere. All right, bud. You just chill in there for a second. You ain't going to be in there for long. Look how official I am with like my actual live bait bucket where you throw them in there get them out bang we're efficient today guys that's doesn't happen much here we go fire it out there give it some twitches already had a bite the bluegill population is off the charts apparently hybrid bluegill actually there's regular bluegill too caught one of those last night there it is oh no the old fly actually is getting it done a little bit today minus when it doesn't actually catch them i might need an even smaller hook this thing has a, a little tiny hook it's actually a little bass lure a little float and fly dude there we go hooked oh no what the heck apparently the old coal pole doesn't really drive the hook home quite like a normal pole sucks because we're used to using it for rainbow trout when you're using a little tiny treble hook on a spinner and they hit it going 300 miles an hour the other direction it's perfect for absorbing that contact Yay, one stayed on. I had to switch up to your favorite bait, Osborne. The beetle spin. Yeah. yeah. Beetle spin under a bobber. Works way better than the hair jig. Who would have thought? Think they'll eat that, Oz? Yeah. Looks like the one you threw back in the bass pond the other day that they say hi fish. fish. Whoop. Say hi fish. Wanna okay. put them in the bucket? Yeah. Let's get some more, okay? Then we'll try to catch a big one. Yeah, this is Daddy's. This is kind of Daddy's pole. This is Cole's pole. It's named after him. Hair jig wasn't cutting it, so I put the old Osborne on the whole black beetle spin. I don't, I don't know. The hair jig was getting bit like crazy from the start. I just couldn't hook up. Pull the bobber all the way under. Set the hook as hard as I could with my flimsy little stick here, and no dice. So 
for whatever reason, they've been eating this black beetle spin better than just a little hair jig. So we'll try it for a little bit. That one, Dad. That a babe. Catch it, Mom! Becky's in a big battle over there with a the giant. What has she got? Good God. Look at its belly. That one's so fat. Can you open it? Good job, guys. That one might be going back in the pond. He's so big. We had to veto the coal pole. I was losing a fish every single cast. Now we're going to rip their entire guts out. There we go. What do we hook this time? Is that a bass? Well, we ain't using that for bait, but we got ourselves a bass. There's hardly any of these guys in here. You know what? Look at them too. That's what they'd all look like if they were in there. That's badass. One of these days when I catch a 10 pounder, we're going to dump them in here and they're just going to load up on these bluegill. Really, this is the way you're supposed to create a trophy bass pond is to get the bait all thriving in a pond and then put the bass in. So I did that one the wrong way. This one the right way. Long term pond, short term pond as far as what I wanted to add in it, but you guys get it. There we go. That's perfect size right there. That's a small little hybrid gill. I'm definitely getting a better hookup ratio with the regular spinning rod. Okay, let's see if we can go put one of those guys on a hook. Catch a big old bass. Okay, I'm starting with this little guy. Maybe, maybe. Yep, now I'm starting with this little guy. Got about a yay big hook. Go through the tail. I, I got a big old bobber. I think I'll hold him and keep him, keep the bobber afloat. But I think I'm gonna go free rig now. We're going no weight, no bobber, nothing. Been seeing some bluegill get crushed out here while I've been fishing for, fishing for these bluegills. So. Hopefully the bass will want to participate with us here. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, he's looking at it. Just eat it. There he goes. Here he goes. Oh my God. It's like this bass is looking at him and sees the damn hook in his mouth. Oh, he about ate him. Oh, he's chasing him. He's chasing him. Did he get him? Oh no. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. He's going to eat him. He's going to eat him. Oh, he's chasing him. About to happen, guys. About to happen. Oh no, we got all this crap on him. That's a big bass, too. That's one of the good ones. Yep, this is one of the big ones right here in front of me. Oh, they got him. I got one on. I got one on. Nope. God, he got away. I just put on the new super fat bluegill. Because the other one wasn't very lively because they've been bouncing it around. And this guy got bit immediately. Oh, they got him. He's T-boned him. He's T-boned him. Look at my line go. Oh my God, he's got him. Oh, I lost him because he was T-boned. Oh no, and the bluegill came off. There's my bluegill. He's probably about to get crushed. No. I lost the fish and the bait. We're gonna have to go catch more bait. That was bluegill number three. We got one more left. Good thing Becky and Ozzy caught one. So the blast bass T-boned the bluegill. And that was bad, obviously. Didn't get the hook in its mouth. These fish, I swear, are the freaking smartest fish I've ever fished for. And we've kind of created the monster ourselves by catching them on a wide variety of different badass looking baits. But man, I watched the biggest fish in the pond right there not eat this, but study it and look at it right in the face and saw that hook in its face. Oh God, he just got blasted, but he missed him. These fish are seriously like carefully pecking at these bluegill heads, trying not to get the hook. Oh, did he get him? He's got him. Bass has got him. Oh no. Why are they not staying hooked? Well, hookup ratio is about the same as it was for the dang bass or for the bluegill. Well, Becky and Ozzy are coming back out. It was snack time, but they're coming back out. Maybe they can lead me the right direction here I'm struggling oh i got him got him got him yes oh that was a freaking giant on my bluegill oh all right we need to go catch more bait i'm sorry bud that guy's pretty much dead now oh he's still swimming a little bit i'm sure he'll just get chopped look at him swim on the surface he's about to get destroyed we gotta go catch some more bait guys 
We do have one in there, but he's pretty much dead. And these bass want him live. Dang it, no! All right, let's catch more bait quick. Also, the reason that I'm fishing this pond for bluegill and not the pond that the bass are in, bluegill are crazy tough to catch over there. And there's way, way, way higher density of bluegill in this one. I want to kind of not clean them completely out, but get them out a little bit. Oh yes, nah, that's too big. That can't be what I want. Yeah, it is, that'll sort of work. Oh, it's huge. It's a fish. It it's a big bluegill. I don't think that those guys will mind really. Oh. They're freaking hungry over there. One? They had all of them. How many did you have? Four. Oh, yeah. Well, I had three and you caught one. What did I hook? Uh, another giant bluegill. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah, geez is right. That sounded like a geez. Should we put them in there? Open it up. God, they're so big we could like eat them. So could the bass, maybe. They're gonna be hesitant to eat them that size. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, let's get one more like that and we're going back to catch some bass. I made a tactical change that ozzy you approve yeah. yeah yes let's catch more like that i just went bear hook in this little crappie jig it's the longest hook of all time it's like a trout hook it is so dumb but it worked pretty close bud push the butt oh good cast yeah I said woo i cast good cast Oh, oh, he's got him. He's got him. Look at that. Oh, I need him to get the hook though. I think the biggest problem with my hookup ratio has been I have not been letting him take it because I don't want him to swallow the hook. He just ripped the bluegill off the hook. Gone. And gone. All right, we're using the little bluegill, Becky. I'm catching one now. I think that's the little one. They're all kind of the big one. <laughs> We're going little one, here we go. Well, like I said, I'm not trying to have these bass swallow a damn hook and die, so I've been setting to the little, okay, that bass just ate him right when I hit the water, yes. Come here, bud, yeah. Hell yes. He came up and crushed him when he hit the water, that was so sick. A fish, Oz. Daddy did it with this small brain. It's like a five pounder, five and a half probably. Yay! <laughs> give me, give me a yay! <laughs> Woo! Can I get a you bet? Bye. Say you bet. Bye. Deal. Bye. Deal. Bye. You bet. Bye. You bet. Bye. Give me a deal. Bye. You bet. Goodbye, bud. Goodbye, bud. We did it! He said, ah, poop. We didn't catch any more. Oh, poop. Ah, poop. A bob. That's your bobber, huh? Well, we didn't get any more, guys, but uh, we definitely had a lot of bites right at first. Biggest problem was the bluegill were actually too big. Bluegill slash hybrid green sunfish, that is. So what we didn't have <laughs> was night crawlers. And so we were using artificials and we didn't have a small enough hook. It's hard to hook them, I think. A blue, you want to be on the camera? Can you say, we got one at least. It was a cool big fish. And now we have our very big pole that we like so much better than our two foot pole. <laughs> You're more of a flipper, huh? Say, yeah, put them fairy wands away, Dad. I'm going after the bigs, right? Yeah. Can I get a you bet? <laughs> Thanks for watching some efforts. Tell me what videos you want to see out at the backyard ponds and uh, me and Osborne and Becky will make it happen. Catch you soon. Matt here. Peace.